Hi, this is uh, John Taylor with LightPoint, and welcome to LightPoint Labs. Uh, we're going to have an overview of the AirLite G, our new product we just started shipping last month. Uh, Brian Peterson from Customer Service is going to give an overview of the interface. This is the AirLite G. It is one of our single beam systems, meaning one transmit, one receive lens. Just like all of our Flight Light products, you'll see there's a defroster in the front. You'll also notice up here at the top is our telescope. When you get the unit, you'll notice it has a plastic bubble back. You'll need to remove this using a Phillips, small Phillips head screwdriver. The unit, as you can see, is actually got multiple interfaces. It has our manual gain control. During the initial alignment and installation, you'll want to make sure this is rotated completely counterclockwise. You'll notice we have a telescope. Inside the telescope, you'll have a set of crosshairs, which will help you with your course alignment. You'll see that there are signal strength indicators. We have the option of 48 volt DC power. You'll need to let us know if that's what you'd like. Uh, you will need to get an external brick, and we do offer that as an option. Standard with the product is our PoE product. It is a high power power over Ethernet. I've already got another one plugged in down below and connected to my yellow cable. The AirLite G is designed as a two cable solution, meaning one cable for your power and your management, which I'll plug in now. You'll see it's going to start up, power lights on, in a moment you're going to see these LEDs start to flash. That is the indicator that the air manager board inside is going through its boot sequence. Second cable here is for the data. It'll be a little bit hard to see, but here you'll see that there is data 2. That's where you will plug in your second cable. Now the product is designed with a lot of flexibility and part of that flexibility is if you don't want to use a cable or possibly your cable run is too long for the IEEE standard, you can use an SFP. You'll see here that there is an open SFP cage. We do sell the SFPs. These are extended temperature range SFPs. It is a hot swappable product, so if you decided you wanted to use fiber, you can go ahead and insert that. Since this is an optional product, we'll go ahead and take that out and put it to the side. Also, you'll notice here is a serial interface. The serial interface is typically used for the initial programming, setting of the password, um, setting of the IP address. If you do need to do a TFTP, it's all done here. A lot of the other programming, because this is both web-based as well as SNMP for management. Oh, and that's it. We've now gone through the boot sequence. The product is now ready to align and is ready. Because we don't have a second unit pointing at us, you'll notice the loss of signal. LED is on and there's no signal strength here. Uh, getting back to the programming. Once you set or reset the password, you can then use the web interface to do your programming um, in addition to using the serial interface, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever your customer is comfortable with. And that is the AirLite G. That's great, Brian. Thanks a lot for that. And, um if you need more information, contact sales at sales at lightpoint.com.